Well, we've made great strides in stabilizing the, the disease once it's developed over the last 10 years. Uh, about 90% of patients are stabilized at the level of vision that they come in with when they have wet macular degeneration. What's really important is to find this disease at the earliest stages. And so early detection is the part uh, that's going to be key to providing the best results for patients. Now that we have drugs that can stabilize and in 30 to 40 percent of patients improve uh, visual outcomes. Well, the treatments become fairly standard in, in the injections that we give, but the early detection is what's important for determining how well the patients see afterwards and what their final visual outcome is and whether they're able to read, whether they're able to drive a car, or whether they are not able to do any of the above. We at the Retina Group of Washington have found this to be an invaluable device. Uh, our patients really have benefited tremendously and uh, it's really important to understand that, that the changes in macular degeneration are coming from the treatment aspect. Those, those we could look down the road and see changes in the drug pipeline, but really the important changes are going to need to come with earlier detection. And this is really a great way of detecting disease earlier than what we're used to and what the standard had been previously. We can't have patients come into our office every day and we can't examine them every day. It's just, it's just impossible time-wise. Uh, very often we have patients come back at monthly or three month or even six month, in, six month intervals based on the, the relative risk of developing wet macular degeneration. This device allows us to monitor these patients in a way on a daily basis. And so by having them use the, the device, it greatly, perfectly complements their visits to us. Again, this is a great reassurance to us that patients who we're not examining every day are being monitored and cared for in a way that allows us to detect problems at the earliest stages. Well, I've, I've been using this home device um, in order to try to predict, or in, try to, in, in order to try to help patients who are at higher risk for developing wet macular degeneration. And one patient in particular who had lost significant central vision in one eye and based on examination of their better eye was at high risk, used the device. And about a month after they finished their baseline testing and started with the device, we got a phone call from the monitoring center and were, was told that this patient had a suspicious uh, testing pattern. And we called the patient in for examination and she was asymptomatic. She was convinced that there was no problem, uh, but upon examination she really had the hallmarks of wet macular degeneration. She had blood under the adjacent area to the macula, she had fluid, and she was really going to develop a significant vision loss if she remained untreated. The patient had, when she came in, 20-25 vision, again asymptomatic, and was treated and still does have 20-25 vision. The consensus among our patients has been uniformly positive. Uh, they find this to be um, you know, those who go through the training program uh, find this to be a very helpful and reassuring device for them. They understand each day that when they're taking this test, somebody's checking on them and examining them in a sense. And for those that make it through the baseline training period, uh, they're uniformly happy. The Ambler grid had been a standard that had been used for years, uh, and it was not particularly sensitive. There are a number of reasons that, that people fail with Ambler grid, and we're all aware of patients who've come in using an Ambler grid on a regular basis that have not detected their problem when, when they see us. The 4C home device has a much greater sensitivity, and it detects uh, more objectively problems that patients may have by an independent monitoring company. And by having that combination of, of high tech technology uh, with an ind independent observer and uh, a grading company, it allows really a better uh, uh, output in terms of getting patients to come in and come back for uh, a re-examination at the right time.
We've had a wonderful relationship with Notel Vision. Uh, they've been very helpful in, in helping our patients. Uh, they've been helpful in educating us as to how this device works. And they've been helpful in, in communicating to the community uh, new ways to detect macular degeneration at the earliest stages.